Well, hey guys, and I've, I've spoke about doing this for quite some time. MJ does not have webcam, Skype, or any of that kind of thing. But he does have a phone. And MJ, are you on the phone right now? Huh? What? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, you're, you're on the phone. I just want to make sure anyone sees your number off this phone because then you're going to get a lot of calls with a lot of questions. You know, oh, no, not that again. I thought I was done with that. Remember how you had your phone out there that one time and everybody was calling you? Yeah. I think I've learned my lesson from that. I know. Like you, For some reason, you put it up on Skype. No, not Skype. Stick them when you were over. And then... You, everyone called you like, what a mess that was. And you still to this day get texts from random people saying, happy holidays, right? Yeah, every holiday. I get like at least like 10 to 12 emails. I mean, you know, you know, like um, I get all emails all the time, but I get like 10 to 12 different texts saying, hey, Merry Christmas, MJ. Happy New Year, MJ. You're getting drunk. You know, people I know. in the business. Now, the thing is, MJ, everyone wants to know, have you and me had some kind of a terrible fight? Why aren't you in these videos? Why aren't I? Wait, wait, why, why isn't what happening with what? People keep thinking you and me had some kind of a terrible fight. Now, why aren't you in these videos? Well, I mean, you know, I, actually, I'm getting into that, too. I'm getting all these different comments under some of the more recent videos I've been posting, saying... Hey, MJ, when are you going to do your next video with Sean? Well, I mean, I don't know about you, <laughs> but I find it difficult to do a video with someone who lives on the exact, complete opposite side of the country than you do. Oh, I know, it's true. People... MJ is living in Maryland. We're not, like, having some kind of a big fight. We still get that question. But the other question, MJ, is what's up with you lately? What have you been up to? Like what I've heard I've heard rumors that you're working at Starbucks as a barista. Are these rumors or have you actually whipping up coffee? Well, you know, I mean, there are bills to pay, but I've been, you know, working on a whole bunch of uh, new videos and all I already got scripts for new ones. I, I want people to think that I'm just saying this to get them off my back and I'm actually sitting back not doing squat. I actually am doing it. People noticed I posted two new videos in the last few days. I'll be posting many others as time is going on. I've just been in preparation. Now, one thing, there's some things that have happened to you lately that I, I, I can't believe that we, we're not, I'm not there to document. Like, apparently the car that we saw in the Around the Country movie is now out of commission. Can you tell everybody what happened? Oh, you mean the one that, that looked like it was already partially out of commission at the beginning of the movie? Yeah, from what I heard, there was a terrible situation on the highway with the car, and now the car has basically been deemed undrivable by the guy at the mechanic shop. Is that what he, basically the mechanic won't even, wouldn't even fix it. So tell everybody what happened. Well, I mean, the car, it's had every problem in the book. Mm -hmm. The tires have been popped, the windows got stuck down for at least a few months. I actually finally got those fixed right before what else happened. The battery died once, the engine died once. Let me try to think what else. The front bumper was knocked off. Finally, the, the back completely almost got um, totaled. I just about, I couldn't even open the trunk anymore. No, oh, jeez. That's the most recent news. Is but didn't it scratch against the whole side of the highway or something? Yeah, you know how there's the wall that divides the two different lanes on the highway going one way and the other way? Well, it was raining, and I was riding towards the... I was riding, actually, in the middle or towards near the wall, and it was one of those days where the rain was just so slippery, even the slightest move will sort of jerk your car a little bit. I was doing a turn, and it started sliding, and then the back slammed and was scraping against the wall as I was moving. And uh, I had to, you know those exits when you get off, and where there's that little space between the exit and, well, the continuing highway, that little space where mm -hmm. you're not supposed to sit? Yeah. I sort of had to coast the car into that spot because oh, geez. it wasn't running anymore. So I sat there for about three or four hours, and it was, it was pouring ice cold rain as this was happening. So I was sitting there trying to call everybody, trying to pick me up, so I was towards downtown Baltimore, so... Yeah, I was, I was stuck there right at the crease there at three. Oh, jeez. And then you say no one would pick you up and you were there forever. And it was, then you, I think you called me or something during it. And you're like, Sean, things aren't good. I'm stuck here. Yeah, I'd actually called you and I knew it was itchy. And this is, this is one of the reasons, main reason why I can't do videos in with person really is the same reason why you couldn't help me and pick me up is because you're on the other side of the country. You're not going to come over just to get me. I had to, I had to call like, 
You know how long it would have taken if I if I drove to get you. It would have taken five days or six days again. And you know you remember that drive. That that around the country drive was one of the worst experiences we ever had in our entire lives. Yeah, that that took and because only because you and me stuck to it on certain days. That literally took us seven days. That took us a week to get there. I know, and the thing is, people like certain things we didn't film some stuff that we should have. Because you and me were on edge so much that entire drive. Like, there was nothing fun about that. You know what I mean? I know. I mean, I guarantee you, that's one experience that's like a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. You will, not, you will not catch me doing something like that again. I know. I wouldn't even do it if I was paid to drive across that country. Like, don't you remember the last day when we were, like, so sick of it and I was driving, like, 90 miles an hour? Which I never do. I never speed on the highway. But, like, I was, like, done with it. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't care if I made it dead or alive. I was done with that drive. And don't you... you couldn't really count go, going through parts of Kentucky and some of there. You couldn't count that as speeding because the speed limit actually was about 75 miles an hour. So you weren't really speeding. Yeah, I was just going... And, and it, was, it was going with the flow of the traffic, but still, it was fast, you know? Yeah, so even if you go, like, think, what was it? They say, like, about five miles over the speed limit in certain places does slide. So if you were going 80 then maybe that would have slid, slid. Like, in Maryland, you can go, like, five miles over the speed limit. It's okay. Now, people are wondering probably, why am I doing it, you know, this over the phone with you when there's technology like Skype and Stick'em and all that? But tell them why this is the way we're doing it. Well, th that has nothing to do with you. you you're, you're so up to date on all the latest technology. Yeah. You're staying frequent with all the stuff. You're, you're definitely good to go as far as that. That, that. that would be my fault because I don't have Skype. I've never used Stick'em, well... On my own. Yeah. And the computer, my computer isn't really online. I have to, like, use this other computer to do it. My computer that I edit on doesn't need a compatible computer. That's from 2003. I know. Yeah. yeah, you don't even, there's no webcam on any of the computers you have. No, I mean, you're talking to someone who, like, I didn't even, I, I still don't even have a Twitter account. I don't even use Wi Fi. Jeez. MJ, you've got to, when, you know, whenever I come back, we've got to get you back in, you know, a current technology. I've got to be like, you know, one of those guys that brings over a webcam and all that stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, it's a little stretch. Like, YouTube is okay since it has, like, videos and, you know, people can share clips and upload their own stuff. But you said you can't even watch the videos anymore. So I could be like, you know, saying anything about you, MJ. Anyone could say anything, and you can't even view it anymore. You said you can only upload. My one computer doesn't have the flash animation thing on it because oh, when I got back from the shop, it, you know, it had viruses, it was disabled, so that way the viruses can't come through. But I have to use get this other computer in order just to watch the videos. Now, since you know we always did stuff on Fridays, what do you do on Fridays anymore? Are you usually working, or are you like what do you do? You feel like what do you what do you do then on Fridays? Well, it kind of depends on what's going down. Either I'm working, I'm doing another video, I'm sitting at home, I'm doing a bunch of stuff like. Um, the next MJ's, I, I already, I can already tell you what my next MJ's dot game is probably going to be. I, so I had to upload a more recent one just to help let people know I'm still uploading videos. When they saw it's the Katamari one, they're like, oh, he's still doing videos. So when I upload the next one, more people would see it right away. I got uh, two others on the way. I got um, the original Spyro the Dragon for PS1, and I also have a uh, new Super Mario Bros. Wii. I maxed that out, too. So... There's still a whole bunch of them on the way. I'm working. I'm at least working on some of these videos at least every day. Now I heard in in November you did a new movie, which was technically your first drama film. Like you know that you did that was a, like a feature, actual drama. How did that go? Well, that was it was like a drama, slight like mystery kind of thriller kind of thing. Mostly it was drama. It was I was actually I was not only like the main character, but I was like the title character. I was um, it's called Homecoming. Mm -hmm. And. It's actually, I'm really proud of the way I think it's turned out. I couldn't really, they, they had on set, we were able to do some of the monitors and the way it looked. It, it, looks, like a, it looks to be a really quality production. Yeah, they shot it on the red they, camera. That's like the best camera you can get. Yeah, they did. It, it looks, I, when I was watching on this, the monitor, either where I was on camera or where some of the other actors were on camera, it looked, it looked like A-plus grade professional. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding here. This like, I was actually, I almost was thinking, you know, do I even deserve to be here right now? This is like, and we may, me and Rob, the director, may be tying um, that film together as a like a double feature with the new version of Lust for Blood that's in the works, which hopefully oh, we'll yeah. shoot in the next so coming I, months. I, now, of course, everyone is now going to, uh, in case everyone's wondering, 
I'm not always up to date on everything, and I'm about to ask this question. It'll prove it'll prove that. Am I going to be in the new lust for blood or no? I don't know because if you're in that homecoming, I don't know if it'd be weird if you were yeah. in both. You may be able to be like be there watching shooting or something, or maybe we can like. You weren't there for, yeah, you weren't there for homecoming, but no. you're going to be in that other one. Anyway, it's, if it's a double feature. Both of them have nothing to do with each other, but like the Willies, like so two different stories that have nothing to do with each other, but they're part of like the same film. Yeah, and then we're going to tie it in with a, um, a like a campfire kind of scene, either campfire or RV kind of scene. We're thinking about different ways of doing that, but. It's all yeah, it's all depends on schedules and stuff. I know. It should look good. They're both gonna be another one's on the way this year that I'm really looking forward to us doing as well. It is one called Mary Horror, which we're doing either ne next month or March. And then the Plan Nine movie, which I'm working on the details for that now. So you so you will see me and MJ together. There we're not like gonna not see each other. And I'm planning, MJ, you know, I haven't really spoken to you too much about this. But I'm planning on bombarding your house and staying there and sleeping in your basement again, for you know at some point when I come back to visit. And since you're having car problems, I may have to rent a car, and you know go around all the things that we don't have in California, like Colby Steakhouse and that Don Pablo's and things like that. Oh, well, I wish you'd said something. I, I didn't think you were going to be coming back to my house again. And, I am. Um, I actually kind of threw out the old mattresses we had. So. You did. House. Then you know what? I guess I'm going to have to spoon with you and Jayla, and you're going to have to accept it. Yeah, I mean, because my one, my one roommate moved out and switched, and then my fiance moved in with me, so we had to um, get rid of the, well, they took the one mattress, but there was this other mattress we had that, I don't remember what we did with it, it's either in my garage or it's in my basement somewhere, which you probably It's probably remember. covered in spider webs and everything if it's in the garage. Yeah, so, um... I'm probably gonna get, like, you know... I don't know, and then remember, like, on the drive, how you and me got those terrible bug problems, like... I don't know what it was, like, smegma bugs, or... that Wasn't that awful? Those bugs that's... Those bites that spread? Yeah, that's... That I was, think that's what we get for, for sleeping in a different motel every night for a week. I know, and the thing that's weird was, I think you got them in one hotel, and then I got them, like, three or four days later in another one. Unless some, they spread or something. Wasn't that a nightmare? Those damn, like, teetsy fly bugs or whatever you call them? I don't know. So how's everything been... In, in, in spite of that. Yeah. In spite of, the, in spite of the first... I remember the first day they started showing up once we got to San Diego. I still thoroughly enjoyed my experience, which I will forever remember for the rest of my life. It did an outburger. I know, what was funny is, when you first went in and out Burger, I think you were in, like, a mood or something, because you're like, it's all right, but I think Five Guys is better. And then and then I talked to you a couple days later, I mean, no, a couple months later, and you're like, Sean, I don't know what I was thinking, in and outs way better. Like, what what made you change your mind, MJ? Well, nothing really. I think part of it was the whole thing with the bugs a little bit, but I think part of it was, I think, either our plans to go to Disneyland were delayed or something happened. But no, you really wanted to go to that, you know, Legoland, and then we didn't. We, yeah. ran, we ran out of funds to do it, so I think you were crushed that day. Yeah, but that was the in and out fries were okay, but those the burgers were the best burgers I ever had. You were right. I know. I like it. it's way better than Five Guys. Like they act like Five Guys is like yeah. the best. It's like Five Guys really is like just a copy of In and Out. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Five Guys is. I think that Five Guys is probably the best burger place on the East Coast. Yeah, the closest thing you're going to get. Yeah, it's the best on the West Coast. Mm hmm. Trying to think of anything else that's been up with you. So, how's the job been going? Because I know it's a new place. How, how do you like it there? Well, it's going so well. I was actually hoping to branch out and maybe even get a second job at a different one. At a different um, brace? How can you work at two of them? Yeah, I can work at two different ones. And, you know, it's, like it's already guaranteed that I'll get that job because I'm already working on one right now. So, I mean, you how can you work at two Starbucks? You mean work at well, another I'll one? I'll just, I'll just, you know, juggle my schedule. I'll just juggle and I'll say I'll work at some one day and I'll work at the other the other day. Yeah. Why can't they just, you know, since it's the same exact place, why can't they just have you work, you know, more at the one? Well, a lot of it has to do with the people who are working in there. Yeah. You know. 
being a barista, it's, it's a it's like a battlefield out there. And I, and I heard though, I heard these rumors, Matt. I'm, I mean, MJ, I'm calling you Matt. You know the name that you've revealed last time. I heard these rumors that you've invented a new coffee there, and I had to interrupt you for this, called Smegma? No, okay. no, it's so Smega, I Smega Chino. I was hoping you weren't going to disclose this, <laughs> to disclose this yeah. in any of our videos as a, as a spoiler, because I was going to give a formal, <laughs> very, a very professional presentation of the new comp Smegma Latte. Yeah. So, <laughs> describing it is not going to do any justice when you actually see it, and better yet, when you taste it. Smegma Latte is going to revolutionize, completely revamp the world of coffee as we know it. And I've heard, too, you know, you and me have been talking about this idea for a while. You want to actually make a video spoofing Travis Tedford's, you know, commercial, Well, Choose Great Jews. Uh, yeah, that, that's actually among the videos. After this next second, um, the, the first ones I'm doing, these are actually serious videos called Second Look. They're, they're similar to your DVD updates, but they're different. They're doing older movies. That's, um, I already, I'm already just about finished the next second look. After I do that one, I know I'm going to do a, I'm going to do that Travis Tedford video. I'm going to do a Pee Wee Herman video. I'm going to do another Cooking with MJ video. Oh, that's cool. Are you, are you going to have your, are you going to have your girlfriend appear in that again? Or, because I'm sorry people have said rude comments to her. People can be a butt, MJ. And you know that. Yeah, I mean. Maybe it's because they just they won't accept anybody else. It, you know, it's either you or nobody. And I, I can understand how that is. I mean, but I will admit she was a good assistant. She did her job well. You know, she didn't alter my pizza in any way, and the pizza turned out just great. So. MJ, I guess you weren't able to watch the video, but she did alter the pizza. Yeah, I, will, I wasn't able to watch the video back. But you didn't see that she put all that stuff in it? No, I watched the video, MJ, and she dumped all this shit that you didn't want in it. What did, what, what did yeah, she... I, I just uploaded the video and just put it on YouTube. I figured by that point the video was done. You know, this, the pizza turned out all right. At least I, I think it did. But I guarantee you see the next video. I'm, I'm going to be more cautious. She's not going to be in the next video. I mean, it, I, I, I'm sorry, but it's just going to be me doing my thing by myself. I know. So when's your sex tape coming out? You know how a lot of people put out sex tapes? When's yours? Um, you're talking about someone else. Oh, I'm, you know, I've been waiting for one, because, you know, things like that get leaked, you know, when you get engaged and stuff, those kind of things happen. So is there going to be one, MJ? Because I'm sure people are wondering. No, there is not. You, you got that confused with somebody else. And for the record... Yes. And, and for the record, I only use bungee cords to hold my trash cans together. That's all I use them for, so don't, don't <laughs> let anything that you think you see tell you otherwise. Oh, I, okay, MJ. I remember you telling me years ago you would film all these sex tapes with all the guys you were with. And then, you know, Carlos and everything. Uh, uh, what? Uh, no, that, you got that confused with somebody else. Okay. All right, MJ, you know. Now, the other thing is, like, what's, what's your, your daily day, you know, life been like? I've been hearing these rumors that you've been walking, like, five miles to work because of the car problem. Is this right? Like, you've been oh. miles upon miles to work. Yeah, see, my, uh, my fiance, she actually um, doesn't have a car. She hasn't had a car for quite some time. And she came in, usually I was the one driving her places. My one roommate moved out, and the other one, um, he's like either working all the time or he's just not home, so he's never driving me anywhere. So I have to walk. Now, unlike with the one, with the one job I had, this job is not four to five miles away. Uh, this Starbucks is nine miles away. Nine miles? Yeah, but it's, it's pretty much like a straight line at a lot of points, so it's not too bad. Oh, man. How do you handle that? Well, you know, I just think, I think you know, money, I'm a barista, and it's a war zone, I will not let these people with cars beat me. <laughs> but isn't, isn't it really cold outside now, like freezing and snow on the ground? Well, the, the cold's not what bothers me, it's the heat that bothers me. Oh. When the spring and when the summer comes, I'm scared. I'm, especially if I'm going to have to have that apron and that hat with me. It's kind of like you're like, you know, MJ Kelly Mountain Man, walking all that way through the snow, and everybody's yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, walking mountains, see, walking mountains for me is easy. I can, I can beat anybody to the top of a mountain and back again, but as a barista, you know, that's a level playing field. I've actually got competition there. I know. And it's the thing that's so funny is that you don't even drink coffee, and you because you don't like caffeine, so 
How, how do you even know that these coffees don't taste like total sheet? Well, we do have decaf espresso. Yeah. I'm going to take a small sip of one and spit it out real quick. That's my trick. It's like you're a wine taster. There's a video that's kind of funny of Shane Jensen and his sister's boyfriend going out, you know, trying wine. And you know how normally when people go to taste wine, they, you know, they just take a sip and spit it out? You know, these guys were actually drinking the entire glass of the entire wine every single place they went, so they drank like a dozen glasses of wine. You should have seen them by the end. Like, I feel like that's the way you and me would wine taste if we went to taste wine. You know, like, we wouldn't spit it out, we'd just drink the whole thing, and, you know, and risk death at the end. Well, you know, that's, that's the only true way to, that's a much more efficient way to test a whole greater variety of wines in one sitting and still be able to taste more. Because if you were to drink the whole glass of each one, you wouldn't get through, like, five or six glasses. Oh, I know. I'm trying to think of any any other... What'd you say? What'd you say, MJ? No, I'm sorry. I just said that Shane, he, you, he, went, he went about it the right way. And uh, some people were mad, too, the way that Don and Murph turned out, because, like... But the thing is, I don't think you and me really had a big thought-out idea when we did it. You know what I mean? Yeah, we sort of just... We just really wanted to do one with Wet Movie. Mm -hmm. We didn't actually think about what we were doing. We just knew we got to do a done one last time and we're forward together. Plus, you know, we wanted Wet Movie to be in it, and that's all we were thinking. And then I think by the end of the videos, too, you were really, I think because of the trip and stuff, you forgot that you weren't supposed to act so upset the whole time because in the trip you were upset most of the time. So you were still upset when we were doing the Don and Murph. I think it was weird because... I felt like almost like you were when you were staying at my house. The first like two weeks you were possessed, and the last week you were really happy and and really sad you were leaving. You know what I'm talking about? Like you seem really kind of upset. Like someone put up their you know a stick up your arse, and then like the stick yeah. was removed. I, I don't know what happened. It takes time to transition in from one character to, to another if you do it long enough. Yeah, like rubbed if off. Does, if Johnny Depp does Jack Sparrow too long. It's going to take him a while before before he drops the English accent. Or like when, I'm sure when Heath Ledger did the Joker, it sort of, it had to take him a little bit of time to sort of, you know, sort of pull himself together and be like, okay, now what am I doing again? You know, it's, if you do something, know. Enough, it sort of sticks with you. And I, th I feel like you and me on that drive both had like some kind of a breakdown. Because don't you feel like we there's just something about us in that that we just seemed like we were on edge? You know what I mean? Yeah, I actually, I thought to myself, you know, as we were about halfway through, and I realized we could have just taken a plane. We should have taken a plane. What is the real point of doing this? I should have put my car on the truck, on the thing. But the problem yeah, was I, I couldn't. I figured it out. It's not. I figured it out. It's, it's better. It's good to know that there actually is a real legit reason that we had to drive all that way. So I thought, you know, if we could have just taken a plane, it would have been a, you know, then I would have been mad. But I thought, no, there's a good legit reason. And it's not to shoot the movie. It's not to see the country. It's not to do all those things. I know, that's the only reason, like, we always thought about doing it around the country one, but it was just like, this one, I mean, it turned out good, and it's a fun movie and everything, but it's like, I can't even really watch it back, because I get so, almost like, nauseated, just remembering having to dr deal with that drive, and like... I got, a lot of I got a lot of questions from, from that movie ever since, and one of, the, a lot of, one of the most frequent questions I got asked was, of course, whatever, with any movie someone does what's going to happen in the sequel. Now, of course, I believe that when you do a film, when you do a sequel, you have to accelerate it. You have to make it bigger. So if the show was around the town, the movie was around the country, if we were to do another one, we'd have to, call, we'd have to make it something like around the world. There are probably, if we ever did another one, it would probably be in, in Europe or something. You know what I mean? And you and yeah, I... Actually, it would be like, well, we have to, first we'd have to have a lot of money. We'd be taking a lot of planes. We'd be going, we'd start in America, we're in San Diego, and then we'd fly... To like Europe, and then we fly to all these different places around the world. We'd eventually end up in Tokyo. We go to all these places, and then we'd end up back in San Diego again. And by the end, it might be one heck of a long movie. Maybe we could do some kind of fundraiser or something down the line to try and you know raise money for the movie. You know what yeah, I mean? Because we've already gone. We've already we've been around our town in in, in Baltimore. We've been all over, we've been around the country straight across. The only thing we we'll have to do is go around the world. 
I wonder how, like, Europe and stuff is with people filming. You know how, like, America, you and me are always accusing get away with it, and people just, like, don't really notice us? Or they look and they yeah. go, those guys look weird, but that's all they think. But, like, in Europe, I wonder if they're like, you can't do that in here. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if you... When you have a camera, in some places, that sort of gives you the good excuses to why you're acting that way. Otherwise, people are... Well, people are just going to look at you like that anyway, at least. But at least they'll know why you're doing it. Um, I can make a really good prediction for the future, yeah. which we do around the world. And that comes out, people are going to say, hey, why don't you make it a trilogy? So I'm like, all right, we're, we're going to have to get in touch with NASA, and we're going to have to make the next, the, the third and final film around the galaxy. Or we could go to, like, some real scary place, like, you know, some scary country, like, you know, something we know nothing about, and, like, no one speaks any English at all. And then it would be us on our own means, you know what I mean? What if we went to, like, cannibal territory? And, you know, make Cannibal Holocaust 3, you know, 2 or whatever it would be by that time and, you know, risk our lives. Well, it sounds like that'd be more like a, a plot for, for another Around the Town, which yeah. they probably will be more Around the Town shortly. Yeah, I hope you do more of them. I like the one you did. And your girlfriend filmed it, and she did a really good job keeping the camera steady, I thought. Yeah, I thought people were wondering who that was at first. That was before she showed up. Yeah, some people were, like, convinced that you and me did it or something. And it was one we filmed that we didn't put up or something. You know what I mean? And people thought that that was, like, somebody else doing that. Hey, MJ. And that was you. And that you, like, you fooled them. Sometimes I can be a master of trickery. I know. And I don't want to hold you up anymore. I'm just trying to think if there's any, like, final words you want to say to the viewers here. Is there anything you want to say final to people? Uh oh. Yeah. That's not. At least we got this far in the video. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I, I hope this answered a lot of questions. And I guess we can we can make a pact that you know every couple months we'll do another one of these until you get a webcam. So this is kind of just a way to update people. Well, here's one other a minor thing. The second looks. Mm hmm. I got a few comments. I got a few comments saying, "Ha ha, hilarious! This is funny. You're hysterical. They're not meant to be funny. They're meant to be serious." All right, so everyone, so if everyone wants to watch your videos, go to the YouTube channel M J K E L L E Y zero, and you can see all M J's new videos. And he is going to try and put one up. Like, what would you say, like every you know week or two or something like that? Yeah, well, I, I'd say that. Let's see, what's today is Monday. Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, today's Monday. I'd say probably by Friday or Saturday, the the, the next um, second look is going to be uploaded. That's cool. I, I still have to watch it myself, but I, I know you've I know you've talked about it for a while. And, and what about the Pee Wee video though? You made the Pee Wee spoof. Will we see more? Oh, that was a test. I just wanted to see. I, I thought you know I don't want to go into the trouble of making a huge Pee Wee video and then finding out that nobody liked it. But I think I got like about fifteen or sixteen no's, and I got like two hundred and something yeses. So oh, that's I good. think it's safe to say I'm probably going to be doing one. I know, and. You know, whatever we I see on the sets and stuff, we'll make sure we film some good positive around the towns, you know, with whatever yeah, we're doing I there. To, I actually wanted to wait until I already had two or three second looks up. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was going to say, you know, I'm, these are reviews of older films, because these are ones that most people have seen, and I'm doing it, giving it a second look and asking questions and mentioning things maybe people haven't thought about. But if newer directors, whoever, are coming out with DVDs or they're coming out with films that they're doing, you know, this year, they come out with a year or two ago or whatever, just recent, that I can give a first look. Yeah. I can actually, you know, if all they'll, they'll need is a copy of the DVD, so then... Like if it's I something you haven't seen before? the same thing. What? So if it's a movie you haven't seen before, then it would be a first look. Yeah, it's like whatever it is, I'll do a... I'll review the film, I'll say who stars in it, like usual. I, um, I, I announce the film... I come on, I introduce the title, I say the director, who the music composer, who the main actors are, I summarize the main the plot, and then I start asking questions and theories about stuff maybe people haven't thought about. Now, I hope people stuck through this, because if they watch this, they're, you know, true listeners of discussions, because it's been 30 minutes now, MJ. Isn't that breaking the rules of YouTube? No, you can upload now really long videos. Like, we, our channel has always been able to put as long ones as we want, and oh, right, right. I think your channel now might even have that, because a lot of people have that unlimited video thing now, 
So you might be able to upload a whole video of, you know, yourself pooping a whole one out for an hour and a half if you wanted. You know, that's just up to you, though. It's going to take some strength and willpower in order to hold one in that long. I know. you would be like, ugh. <laughs> but it was good to, you know, finally catch up with you, MJ. And I'll stop this video yeah. now. Um, so you want to say goodbye to everyone who's, who's watching this? Yeah, thanks, thanks for watching this whole video. Thanks for taking your time. I hope this answers a lot of questions. So, yeah, for the record, me and Sean never had a fight. No. I mean, well, yeah, at points he probably he gets on me about half the time about stuff, but we never had a fight. And the reason, and that the, the, well, the, real, the real reason, the one and only reason we're not doing videos together, or we can't, is because we live in separate parts of the world. I live in, I live in Baltimore. He lives in San Diego. You're totally the considered, other side. So consider it's not like I can just, you know, be like, you know, take random money and go, oh, here's five hundred dollars or whatever. I'm gonna get take buy a plane ticket and I'm gonna go over to Sean's. Oh, I know. And then when I know a lot of people have love to quote what we say, but like five hundred cheese, is that expensive? It's just a random number. Maybe one hundred something, two hundred, however cheap or how depending on, you know, when you buy it and and all that goes into it. But we can't just like snap and just go into a film together. So don't think it's because we had a fight or anything. It's because we live so far apart. Oh, I know. So hopefully this answers everyone's questions, and now people have finally heard from MJ on this channel. So it's been like a 30, 31 minute long update with MJ. Is that is that is that right, MJ? The second look was not meant to be funny. It's a, it's a serious professional video. All of them are. I know. So see you guys later.